but today I have to tell you about a friend that we all have his name is the Holy Spirit Samson's had Samson had hair the Holy Spirit has power and if we the lads if we are those little children today that the Holy Spirit comes into our life and the Bible says if the Spirit of Him who raised Christ from the dead lives within us He is there to give life to our mortal body the Holy Spirit does not just come to stand by the pillars, by the problems, spiritual problems in our physical health. He is asking you today, lead me to the pillars and let's push them apart. The Holy Spirit wants to destroy the spiritual forces that are affecting our physical health. The Holy Spirit is not just here to tickle us and just to make us cry. He is not just here to make us just feel better about ourselves. He is a spiritual force and He is very powerful and wants to destroy other spiritual forces. We've seen countless times when a man who came through four years ago, he had leukemia. He was diagnosed for over a year and a half of leukemia. His insurance would spend a $7,000 every single month on the medications. He already wasn't able to work. He worked in one of the best restaurants in his town. He wasn't able to work. And when he came to the services that we had in the track four years ago, during the service when prayer was being offered and the Holy Spirit was going in the audience and pushing pillars away, he started to feel uncomfortable, like he wanted to throw up. He was brought to the front where he vomited all kinds of things. All of that vomiting was simply Holy Spirit pushing pillars away. When he got up from his knees, he said, I felt so much better. And he went back home. He actually didn't even think that he got healed. He just thought he got freed from some demonic activities in his life. As he went back to the doctor, the doctor examined his blood and found out he was a hundred percent cure of leukemia. He came back to our church, brought his medical report and it's four years and this young man, Nabil, is completely free from every trace of leukemia in his body. Every pillar of sickness has to be brought down today in Jesus' name. Why? Because in the Old Testament, when Israel traveled to the promised land, there was a pillar they had. It was the pillar of fire. The Holy Spirit is a greater pillar that we have. And because the Holy Spirit is on our side, through Him, every generational curse can be brought down. Every disease and sickness that cannot be cured or explained or there is no connection to it. You've lived healthy life. You've disciplined yourself. You ate right. Nobody in your family maybe have had that and it just came out of nowhere. You have a friend. His name is the Holy Spirit. Join hands with the Holy Spirit today. Say, Holy Spirit, I invite you in my body. You live there. Let's push away every pillar of arthritis. Let's push away every pillar of diabetes. Let's push away every pillar of cancer, of growth. Let's push away every pillar of every skin disease, every blood disease, every bone infection, every other disease. It has no legal place in my body because I'm a friend of the Holy Ghost. Can somebody say amen? I want you to imagine in your mind right now, you're not alone. If you're facing a disease, if you're facing sickness, if you have been diagnosed and you have fought the best, I want you to know today one message. You are not alone. The Holy Spirit is with you and He wants to fight with you. He wants you to hold His hand. If you are believing for someone's healing, I want you to remember you're not alone. The power that heals, it's not the preacher. It's not a certain charm. It's not a certain chant. It's not a certain word or certain phrase. It's a person and his name is the Holy Spirit and he will do what diet cannot do. He will do what doctors cannot do. He will do what fitness cannot do. He can help us in the areas we are completely helpless. Just a few years ago, three years ago, there was a mother that came, a mother and a father that came with their child from Olympia. They had, a, he had asthma for over six years and he was already been diagnosed and, and they just said there's nothing we can do. The best professionals, they took him to the best professionals because the father himself was a doctor and he was completely helpless. And when he came to receive prayer, during the prayer, we were not just praying God heal him. We were praying to break every chain of the enemy. 
and these prayers may seem just charismatic some people may seem like oh these just young rustic boys running around here screaming they don't know what they're screaming about yes to the to the extent we might not know what's going on in the spiritual world but the holy spirit used samson used the little boy and the holy spirit uses me and you he uses your prayer and my prayer to push away the pillars when that prayer was being offered i remember because i was praying for that young man right here on this side curly hair i actually thought it was a girl so when i was praying i said lord god heal this girl i didn't know it was a young man not a, not a girl nevertheless in our lack of understanding god still used our prayer six months later we received a message from that family that ever since that prayer the little boy was no longer needing any other equipment to help him breathe it's been now three years and they come every single year to our service just to give glory to God and they were completely completely experienced a miracle in their family let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ less than six months after the boy's healing the mother was diagnosed with tuberculosis she was already placed in a different housing she lost her job and she, most of you remember those of you who were here about two and a half years ago when she came she even had a covering over her mouth and she came with faith she says the same Holy Spirit that defeated the spiritual forces in the life of my son he can help me he says I'm seeking the best physicians and I'm seeking the best therapy but I also know Jesus is the greatest physician he is the best doctor and I came to an appointment with him and when prayer was being offered spiritual forces were pushed down she went back home her recovery became miraculous she recovered in two weeks out of that disease in a month or so she was released back got a clean bill of health now she's working and TB is no longer part of her health to God be the glory